<laughs> All right, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Cheryl. I'm one of the admission counselors for UC Irvine. Uh, I also am a transfer student, so I I uh, understand how complicated um, universities make it for you. So um, I'm here to help uh, give you some of the information that you need in order to be a successful transfer. So um, let's get started. I don't know why I'm frozen. Sorry, I'm frozen. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so let me first share um, where our campus is located. And we like to say that we're in that sweet spot. Uh, we're right along the coast, about 40 miles south of LA and about 80 miles um, north of San Diego. Um, our uh, Irvine itself is beautiful. Um, uh, I moved to Irvine uh, a little over a year ago from Chicago, and I feel like I'm living in a theme park. Um, Irvine also has been uh, ranked as the, or named the uh, safest big city in all of the US by the FBI for 14 years in a row. Uh, we've been ranked as number one for beach lovers. We're only a couple miles away from the beach. You can't see the water from the campus, but it's super easy to get there. And there's a lot of activity our students engage in um, at the ocean. Uh, we also have been ranked as the number one park system. Um, and uh, I can attest to that. Like I said, I feel the Irvine is beautiful. Um, uh, we have a ton of like hiking trails, biking trails and park systems. Uh, and there's just so much to do um, in Irvine. Um, let's see. Also, we've been named uh, a top 10 public university by US News and World Report and number two for campus environment by the Wall Street Journal. Um, we also have a super uh, active um, and awesome uh, uh, network, uh, Ant Eater Network. Uh, there's lots to do, lots to be engaged in. Um, we have about 30,000 undergraduates that attend uh, UCI. And we actually have, um, we actually get um, almost the top number of applications uh, for freshman students within California, and we get the second highest number of transfer applications. So a lot of our programs can be uh, quite competitive. Um, but one other good thing about UC is that we do have a law school and a medical school. And the medical school actually is located about, third, about it's right next to Disneyland, which is about 14 miles from our main campus. And uh, we also have, Irvine is lucky to have um, a third of all the Fortune 500 companies have an office within Irvine. So lots of our students are able to get jobs and internships uh, really close to campus. Um, this is an aerial shot of the campus. Um, it was intentionally designed in a circle. Uh, we're one of the youngest of the UCs. And you can see all around Ring Road, uh, that center park, Aldridge Park, is uh, where our student service buildings are. And then right outside of that first ring is where the academic buildings start. And then right outside of that is uh, where um, like student housing begins. And I do have a slide on housing as well. Uh, also, it's really cool that we have a giant shopping center right across the street from our campus. It's within walking distance. And they have a movie theater there. Um, there's restaurants, uh, uh, hair and nail salons, uh, any kind of fast food that you might want, uh, Trader Joe's, a post office, and uh, several other grocery stores. So like I said, you don't really need a car. Um, it's easy to get around. Um, lots of students are on bikes and skateboards. Um, it's very convenient. We also have a lot of opportunities for students to get involved in leadership um, and club and student organizations. Um, a lot of these, we have over 600 of them. Um, a lot of them actually are career focused as well. So lots of opportunity for you to start building your professional network um, and which is super important because uh, transfer students only have a couple years after you transfer. And um, so that's, that's not a lot of time to get involved in things, but we do encourage you to get involved in, in as many activities as, as you would like. Um, and again, this is, a, is an excellent opportunity for you to start building your professional network, which you will need for the rest and take with you for the rest of your um, careers. 
We do also highly value and respect transfer students. And so we've developed a transfer student hub, which is really like a one-stop shop for transfer students uh, to go and get connected with any of the other resources that we and programs that we have on campus. Um, and there are full-time transfer counselors that are there just for you to help you with whatever you need to help you be successful as a transfer student um, at UCI. Also, mention a little bit about uh, financial aid. Um, we actually, uh, the majority of our students do get financial aid and, and receive grants and scholarships. And I just wanted to take a, a, a moment here to remind that all students that all the UCs actually uh, participate in a program called the Blue and Gold Opportunity Plan, which you need, you need to know about because uh, you actually can get um, free tuition and fees. Um, if you are a California resident and you're, you or you're coming from a family making less than 80,000 a year. And if you are making more than 80,000, um, but less than 187,000 a year, you may qualify for the middle income scholarship. So definitely research that on the, on the UC website. It's easy to Google. You just type in UC blue and gold opportunity plan and you'll find it. You'll get much more information about it. Okay, housing um, for transfer students. So um, at UCI, transfer students don't live in dorms the way freshman students do. But we have a lot of options, including family housing for transfer students. And in normal times, non-pandemic times, we have a two-year guarantee for transfer students. Um, but because of the restrictions on how many students can live in the units now, um, it, it, it's, it, we can't, we can't um, the, the guarantee for two years is actually on hold. However, there's a ton of options and there's a, and also even if you don't live on campus, all of Irvine has a ton of uh, rental properties. So even right across the street from campus. So you're gonna find a lot of information, a lot of um, um, units that you can choose from. Um, and you, again, you can go to uci.edu and type in the word student housing and you can see like tours um, and, the, and all the costs and so forth. Okay, so um, I never want to not talk about when I'm doing a presentation to transfer students, I always want to make sure I'm stressing how, how important proper transfer planning is. So the, you want to first make sure that you are uh, narrowing your field of interest and deciding on a major and a career, learn about uh, alternate majors because lots of times um, you, you, there are multiple pathways to get the career you want. You don't specifically need, unless you're like a nursing student, for example, you don't specifically need to um, have a specific major. Um, also, you, it's super important that transfer students are researching the minimum eligibility requirements, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, another, my colleague was from Davis was recommending or mentioning the TAP account, the Transfer Academic Planner. Um, that's where you can record your progress and, and write down uh, all the courses that you still need to take so that you can understand like when are you ready to transfer. We also want you to consider the transfer admission guarantee program. UCI does participate. Um, most of our programs participate in TAG and UCI's GPA is a 3.4 for TAG. And then we want you to continue making sure that you're connecting with your uh, community college counselors and you can also set virtual appointments with me and I have a link um, at the at the end of this presentation where you can set your own virtual appointment with me. Um, also, that link is available from your uh, transfer center. So uh, please, please consider making um, a private uh, virtual appointment with me. Uh, and then you want to make sure you're understanding the timeframes and deadlines. And as it was mentioned before, the application filing period has opened November 1st, and those applications have to be into us by the end of this month, November 30th. So transfer students apply a year in advance. Um, the tag filing period has already passed for this current year, but, but you may be a student who is still like in your freshman year and, and still can file a, a tag uh, next, next um, September. Also, um, students who apply do have to submit a transfer academic update in January so that you can let us know what grades you got on your fall classes and then let us know if you're making any other changes to your winter or spring uh, classes. Then um, usually transfer students find out from UCI if you the admission decision sometime in April, we never know exactly what date. Then you have until June to let us know if you think you do want to um, enroll at UCI. So we call that the SIR deadline. 
Okay, uh, minimum eligibility. Uh, we don't, um, UCI does not require the completion of an associate's degree or IGETC. However, those can be very beneficial credentials for you. So we do recommend that you work with your transfer counselor um, regarding that. Um, but minimally, we do need you to have at least 60 semester or 90 quarter transferable units. We do take up to 70. Um, lots of transfer students have more than that, but we want you to be aware that we can only take up to 70. And then you do have to complete something we call the seven course pattern that, that includes two English composition writing courses, one college level math that you should be related to your major, and then four other gen eds from at least two of the areas that you see on the slide here. Arts and humanities is one of them, social behavior sciences, and then the hard sciences of uh, physical and biological sciences. Okay, however, minimal eligibility is different than being a competitive student. So many of our programs at UCI get so many applications. We typically get over 120,000 applications. And so uh, our, some of our programs like business, engineering, computer science, um, biology, uh, you wanna be a competitive student. So we encourage you to uh, earn the strongest overall GPA. And then your major might even have a specific GPA required or certain grades required um, for your transfer um, prep courses. So you might you might have to get A's or B's only in certain courses. So we want you to make sure you're looking that information up. So we do do a comprehensive read uh, of the application, which includes everything, um, even outside of class activities. And we know that due to the pandemic that there's, uh, there's gonna be a limited uh, option um, and opportunities for um, things that students can participate in outside the classroom. So, so um, but everybody's in the same boat. So. Um, it isn't all just a numbers game. We do read everything that you tell us, including in, in the, the additional comments box. Um, but, but some of our programs, like I said, are very selective and you, you need to kind of beat out the competition of everybody else who's applying at the same time. So please be aware of the transfer prep uh, that's required. Okay, use of utilizing some of the UCI transfer resources. First, we want you to understand your major. Uh, we do have over 150 majors and minors that you can choose from. And on our webpage, you can actually get into your major, learn a lot more about that major. There's a direct link to the academic program pages, um, their website, and to the catalog. So you can actually take a look at that uh, what's currently required for juniors and seniors in this in this in your programs. Okay, and then we also have an alternate uh, related majors transfer resource for transfer students because we were having lots of students telling us that they couldn't find their major and we had their major but we're just may, we may not be calling it the same thing that other universities were calling it so so this is a great resource for students. Um, these are all uh, like categorized into like career clusters instead. So there, like I said before, there's lots of opportunities, lots of pathways for students to uh, take different majors to get them to the career that they're looking for. And then assist.org. This is like the number one transfer resource that you have to be looking at. So um, you just type in assist.org, it's free, it's open to the public, uh, just Google it. And you wanna make sure though that you are looking at the newest version. So the 2020-21 articulation guys were updated a few weeks ago. And then you click on your school that you're coming from, and then you click on um, the school that you wanna transfer to, and then you find your major and, and click on view agreement. And then what you see is, this will come up. This is the actual articulation agreement. And um, the mistake that a lot of students make here though, is they scroll right down to where the like course equivalencies are and where you could see that list of prereq courses that are required prior to transfer. But it's very important that you also re read the top information because that's where you'll find out if, you, if your program has a specific GPA that you need to meet and whether or not there are specific grades that you need to get in your required courses. And after you read that information, then you can scroll down and see exactly what courses you should be taking at Columbia to make sure that you're meeting the transfer prep uh, for your major. Lots of our majors don't require any specific courses, but some do like nursing. There's a ton of nursing classes that you have to take and get B's or better. Engineering, um, computer science, even biology, business. Um, there are very specific courses and you have to get certain grades in those classes. So, so check this out early in your program and work with your transfer counselor at Columbia as well. 
And as I mentioned before, uh, you are welcome to make a virtual appointment with me where we can go over um, any questions that you might have and the transfer prep that you might need for your major. You, if you wanna take a picture with your phone of this, that'll get you to an information card. Um, also, if you see the contact us, that last line where it says virtual appointments, you can take a picture of that also, and then make sure you, that'll take you right to my calendar so that you can uh, choose your own date and time, whatever works best for you. Um, and we're doing these up and just up until um, Thanksgiving. And then we're probably gonna do more in the summer, but the link might be different. So you'll have to check with your transfer center if we have a new link for um, spring. So that's all for me. Um, uh, I'll send it back to you guys. I'll stop sharing and thanks for joining me.